before the race could even start, Matthew Nicholson would have some problems in the four. Trying to get down the pit road, he would rough up Matt Duncan in the 99. Uh, the four would temporarily come to a stop. He'd get a tow back onto pit road and end up three laps down. Zach Riel and Nicholas Samadio lead the field down to the green flag to begin race number two here in Motegi. As Riel appears to get the better start over the 47, Jose Bautista in the 79 just behind looking for second already. The 47 with a bit of a run through the center of the corner. 79 way better off and second place goes to Jose Bautista. Tyler Markell overtakes Jose Bautista just a few laps into this one as Chris Washer, Alex Wheeler, and Sawyer Girl go for around 10th. It appears right now, Zeus Morrow drops to the inside of Don Thompson Jr. In the meanwhile, at the meantime, despite how wide this track is, the racing group is very small, somewhat similar to Darlington. Uh, a similarity I've said a couple of times over the course of the weekend, Motegi and Darlington being similar. But uh, Andrew Rick trying to pass Sawyer Girl right now as the inside appears to prevail uh, on these opening laps. Team Thunder not having too great of a start. Both cars qualified near the tail end of the field. Duncan starting to make his way forward, passing Spencer Fullerton, Jeffrey Fingai, perhaps even Fall of Thanos here this lap. But his teammate Matt Duncan was severely hampered by the, uh, the incident coming to the green flag with Matthew Nicholson. He's starting to claw his way back towards the main field. But uh, before that, he was several seconds behind this pack. Bautista gets back by Markel coming uh, towards lap number six here. Takes a look on Riel, not going to get anything done for now. Ty Dent up into the top six, impressive drive for him so far. Sidney Krasa up into the top five as well as the 79 might take a peek underneath the 33 here. Yes, he does. Going forward through the center of the corner. Riel temporarily better by the 79 again with a nice run off the corner. And with that, he is side by side with him. Down the back straightaway, might be able to get it done here. As Nicolas Emidio tries to get into third, will get third for now. And it appears that Jose Bautista will be able to get the lead, becoming the second leader of this race. TJ Dent started 25th last year's race winner, the endurance race. 150 laps was the race distance last year. He won this race last year, despite being, I believe, uh, one lap down with around 12 laps to go. Uh, so impressive drive so far for him to make it up into the top 15. Look out for him later on today as Luca Obrovac, last year's champion, is also making his way forward in that number three SpongeBob SquarePants car. Nicholas Samadio having another good run so far today. Uh, runner up in uh, one of the races at Calder Park, now going for the lead on the 79 and easily takes it by outbreaking him down into turn number three. The 33 takes a look on the 79, not gonna, uh, not gonna get the job done for now. These three, the class of the field so far, Zach Riel uh, back by the 79, no, go, now going after the 47, down into the long sweeping turn one here in Twin Ring Motegi as the 33 will clear the 47 off the corner to get the lead back. They swap the lead once again, just one lap later, Jose Bautista and Tristan Wilhoit now going for third. Uh, 79 able to get to the inside, blocking off the, the 11 for now, now going after the 33 of Zach Riel to once again put him back into third position. Look at the run Sawyer Girl has down into turn one as he's gotten by the 79. The 11 now going after the 47 with some help from Ty Dent in the 83. Might be able to get it off of the corner. Yes, he does. Racing him very close side by side. Very, very close. Perhaps even making contact uh, down the back straightaway there as the 01 looking to become the race's fourth different leader, I believe. As the 83 also taking a peek along the 47. 47 trying to hold on will not be enough. Spencer Fullerton having quite a recovery uh, coming towards the midsection of this race. Started near the back, ended up falling even further back than where he started at the beginning of the race, fell outside the top 30. Once his tires got some heat into them though, he's driven his way back inside the top 15, currently battling with DJ Harris. Teammates side by side, Terrence Day and Jeff Derry going for, I believe that's eighth. Uh, Andrew Rick splits between them for now as Ty Dent and Jose Bautista race for fifth. Nicholas Samadio up to 
back up to third rather. And it's Zach Riel and Sawyer Girl is setting a very fast pace in the 0-1 car. Him and Riel about a second in front of the rest of the field. On board Terrence Day who's made his way up in the top three now. Sawyer Girl and Zach Riel are battling for the first position for now. Zach Riel will get it with a big head of steam into turn number one. The 01 might have the better run through the corner though as the 33 slides up the racetrack. And now the 01 going underneath the 33 it appears. Yes he is and the 01 might be able to get uh, the lead back. That kid's race against drugs machine looks very fast so far today. Zach Riel once again goes by the 01 car. A very heated battle for that position but even more heated for third position as the 47 and the 11 tried to split the 55 there and that nearly ended in, in disaster for those three drivers. The 47 got out of the gas in a real hurry uh, once he saw how little of a gap he had to make that pass and luckily we will stay green because of that. So far we're halfway in and it's still cautionless. Will Voigt and Sawyer Girl have been side by side for the last lap or so. Tight end's been trying to push the 11 through. He will finally get it done now as Zach Riel, what a horrible corner he had through turn number two. Just terrible run off. And here comes the 11 with some help from the 83 down the back straight away. And it's going to be Tristan Will Hoyt taking the lead. Will Hoyt has generally pulled away by just a few car lengths over the 33 as the 01 with a big surge into turn number three tries to get by the 33 amazing job by the 01 to get that done uh, considering he had almost no space at the bottom I would have thought that he would have had to check up there but that 01 insanely good in turns three and four Don Thompson jr. is having a terrible day I didn't seem to get a set of working in practice and that's translated to a bad qualifying run and a terrible race especially with uh, all the tire wear that uh, he gets and the lack of clean air that he has at the tail end of that pack. Prudence Littlejohn also having a terrible run, which is a bit of a surprise since her father, Bill Littlejohn, got a top five and challenged for the victory in race number one uh, just yesterday. Paula Thanos in the 42 also not having such a great day. William Duncan as per usual at the tail end of the field. That sucks for him. Uh, Ryder Smith also back here. The 01 with a charge on the 11 as we come towards 12 laps to go. Riel also back into the top three now. Currently on the tail end of Will Hoyt. Might be dropped to the inside and try to follow the 01 through. Yes, he does. In fact, he closes right on, on the back bumper of the 01. It appears that Zach Riel's uh, little break back to the bottom of the top 10 was absolutely voluntary as he uh, nearly rubs the back end of the 01, getting by him and the 33 back into the race lead. Nic Nicholas Samadio also back into a podium position. The 01 trying to get back by the 33 coming to 10 laps to go now as the 47 tries to follow him through. These two have created a bit of a roadblock uh, amongst the top 10 and because of that the top 6 could be covered with a blanket right now as Samadio tries to get alongside the 01 will end up staying behind him for now as the 01 goes a tiny bit defensive there 47 takes a peek uh, taps the brakes to try and get a little bit more turning into that car of course uh, the front wheels coming down when he tapped the brakes giving him more grip and the 01 slides up the racetrack giving the 47 the lead back is the 23 of Andrew Rick has made his way up into the top three, but look at the run. The 01 got on the outside, the 47 nearly makes contact with his quarter panel, and the 47 will get the lead back after all of that. Ty Dent has made his way up into the top two, past Sawyer Girl, Zach Riel, all of the bunches. TJ Dent races with Zach Riel and Sawyer Girl three wide here. Terrence Day up trying to maintain that third position. But what a battle we have going for this position right now as Terrence Day shoves Sawyer Girl a bit up the racetracks and, and Day splits between Dent and Girl to get third position for now. But TJ Dent uh, making his way forward when it counts, just like last year, up into fourth. It's Ty Dent with a challenge for, on the 47 coming to four to go now as Dent struggles to make the inside work. He will not make it work. No, the 47 had to check up off the corner to avoid getting into the wall, and Dent will lead this lap. 
Ferenc Day, though, up, trying to make his way up into second with a big head of steam on the 47, as the 18 still has his nose there, looking to make things work as the 55. What a run through the center of the corner he managed to get, as Ty Den, man, he just did not get a good turn one or two, as the Dens now both up into the podium. Uh, what, a, what a drive it could be for the two of them if they finished like this, but I'm sure they're going for more. Perhaps first and second here, as Day leads uh, the top three down to three laps to go here. DJ Dent blows by his teammate like he was standing still. Sam Adio by into third, Washer by into fourth. What a bad run. Uh, Dent got through that corner, but TJ going after Terrence Day. Down the back, straightaway gets to his quarter panel, now to his door, now to uh, his wheel, back to his quarter panel, uh, trying to get around him, just two, coming to two laps to go. He will lead the race for the first time today. Just two laps to go for him to hold them off. Washer's confidence has soared recently after winning two of the last four races, St. Croix and Malaga, completely different types of racetracks, and now here he comes along the inside of the 18 coming to the white flag. Both of the ends still uh, inside the podium. Will Hoyt back into fourth. He disappeared for a while earlier on, but is making some headway here as the white flag is out. Just one more lap for TJ Dent to hold off Washer. He's got a big gap about, of about five car lengths back to the five. He's just got to make sure he gets through turn two smoothly. The five with a big run coming down the back. Straight away the 11 follows him as the five might go for a charge. Yes, he does. Down into turn number three. What uh, uh, outbreaking maneuver that was. Can he make it stick? It doesn't appear so as the 18 will come off the final corner. No, the five gets into the 18 as they bump and rub towards the start finish line. It's Dent that wins it as the five and the 18 continue making contact down into turn number one and TJ Dent will win this uh, win at Motegi for the second year in a row. Fantastic race. Washer was giving him everything that he had out of that final corner, if, and if that meant making contact with the 18, well, so be it. I don't think the 18 was too happy with the 5, and then took him down the racetrack towards the wall. All the meantime, the 11 of Tristan Wilhoyd is actually gaining on these guys, and that was damn near a 3-wide finish. It was a 3-wide finish, in fact, as Chris Washer will get second, losing by just four hundredths of a second. Still a great run, as they still make contact. They nearly went into the inside wall as they approach turn one. It would be Will Hoyt, third position. Uh, he was uh, couple, given a couple more hundred yards of that bumping and grinding. He could have ended up in victory lane here today. Still a great run for the 11. It would be, uh, it would be, who is fourth? It would be Ty Dent in fourth position in the 83. Great day for uh, for Dent Motorsports today, that's for sure. Terrence Day in fifth, Andrew Rick sixth. It would be Zach Riel seventh, one of the drivers that tied for leading the most laps. Him and Nicholas Samadillo who finished eighth, tied for leading the most laps. It would be Tyler Markell in ninth, and DJ Curtis finishes tenth.